Charles, we're gonna play with the ice. I don't care about the ice. Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Kevin and Courtney. Hey, how are you guys doing? Let me tell you something. I'm down in Atlanta, as you guys already know. It's a Thursday night. We getting ready to go to Bulldogs. Let me tell you something. Courtney, like, oh my God, we need to get there early. We need to get there early. We need to yes, get there. Yes, the line is gonna be ridiculous. Yeah, it's the line is long, but you know when you got a little cocktail and you, that line don't mean a damn thing. Cause the no. same people outside will be the same people inside. It's just be like you can't move. Just like how the line don't move that fast, you won't move that fast. Me inside, there's no difference. But I do need to get up the ATM machine. I do need to get up the ATM machine before I go inside. Um, I want to say, let me tell you something, y'all. Before we even start this video, y'all know a lot of new developments came out today, but they wasn't gonna come out of my mouth. And you know, you wanna know why they didn't come out of my mouth? Because that is not my place to tell anybody's business who told me something, and I don't get their permission to tell it. So I let them tell it when they're ready to tell it. It's not my business. And I understand a lot of people are upset. I'm disappointed too. So don't act like I'm just saying like, oh, F you, F your feelings, because that's not how I feel. So, you know, it is what it is. And I hope that if you live in the Atlanta area and you were planning on coming and now you don't want to come, I say still come. Because one person don't stop the show. So please come on out and enjoy yourself because I sure will be there and I'll be enjoying myself. My friend Courtney, he will be there and I will introduce you to who he is if you don't even remember. He will be there. Uh, Sweet Addictions TV will be there. Bondi Blue will be there. Rocks will be there. Biz PTV will be there. Justin J will be there. Messy Miles will be there. I know that Ashley said she was working on getting here and she will be there. Did I say Miss PTV? Miss PTV will be there. We are going to have a good motherfucking time. And like I said, one person don't stop a show from me. I am still going to have a good time, and I'm going to spend my time with those who watch the show. So not just our show, but to everybody else's show. Thank you so much for still coming if you plan on coming. Because I did see some comments where I'm not coming. And I understand that. I understand. Let me tell you something. There's some people that watch the Scorpion show. Just for Mikel. There's some people that watch just for me. Some people watch just for the both of us. I understand that. After seven years, if you don't understand that, then bitch, something is wrong with you. So I understand why some people are upset. But please do not bring it to my timeline on why you are upset. It's on YouTube. It's a Scorpion show. You can leave and drop all your frustrations there. But on my Instagram, on my Twitter, on my Facebook, don't do that. Let that person know how you feel on their pages, not on mine. Because I already know. So, hey, can we please move on? I look forward to into meeting you guys on Saturday. And I plan on having a good time. And I'm really happy that my family is coming from Philly. Out of all the people from Philly coming, my family will be there. And that means a lot to me. Like my, sister, my sister and my niece wow. are coming. Oh. So, I'm very happy because none of my friends are coming. None. None from Philly. And it's uh -huh. no shame. Because everybody got... Every, I want people to understand one thing. Before you point and judge, though, you don't know what's going on in people's lives, that's too. That's true. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to say. Shout out to Tavon behind the camera, by the way. Hey, man. Hey. So who is recording with me right now? This is my friend, Courtney. Y'all know Courtney been my good girlfriend for about <laughs> six years. <laughs> and he is a filmmaker. He actually yes. just directed a film, right? Uh -huh. And... I helped him a little bit, right? And he didn't even put me in it. Well, well, he couldn't wait. He couldn't wait for me to come me down to Atlanta. Up. Yes, I mean, come on, as an independent come filmmaker, on, you, you have to use the resources that you have <laughs> when you are able to get them. And so I would have love for you to be in it. Like, we're, it, okay, it's a documentary. It's called Beneath. It's about body image among black gay men. Mm -hmm. And I would have love for you to be in it. But I would have been a perfect person. You would have. You really would have. Because I've been big. I've been medium. Right. I used to be small, then I'm right. all the way big. But go ahead. And you would have been great for it. But yes. it's just the resources that we were able to get, um, and a lot of favors that we were able to get were for a specific time period. So we weren't able to get you in. But it's gonna be a great piece. I can't wait for everybody to see it. So yes, thanks for having me on. He could have flew, flew me down. But you're welcome. We ain't got, we got the coins for that <laughs> yet. <laughs> How you but, doing? Yes. But we will. <laughs> so, um, 
You know, I don't know. I don't know that much that went on this week, but I feel like I owe you guys a video because I want to put a video up. But let me tell you something. I heard about Dancing with the Stars, and I heard about the Dancing with the Stars lineup. I heard that uh, Miss Shaka Khan is going to be on there. Bendy Irwin, whose father is Steve Irwin. Who's that? Steve Irwin, the, the crocodile hunter. Oh, his father, the one that died. Well, Bendy is a female. Oh. The, his daughter, you don't remember her? I don't follow any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I mean, I heard a couple of names, but as I was on my way to the airport yesterday, or, you know, coming to Atlanta, Everybody was saying like, oh my God, Tamar Braxton is going to be on Dancing with the Stars. And the first thing I said was, oh my God, I feel bad for Tawanda Braxton. Because Tawanda Braxton has been wanting to be on Braxton, not Braxton, Family Rock. She's been wanting to be on Dancing with the Stars for a long time. And she actually tried to start a campaign to be on there. You know, I do, I do feel sorry for her because she's the only one that I know that really wanted to be on there. And to know that Tamar is going to be there, it's a good thing for her because she has an album. Allegedly, this coming out on September 11th. I haven't really heard anything. I don't know if it's really still coming out on that date or not. Well, let me ask you this. What is your opinion of the people who go on Dance with the Stars? Because I've heard people say, oh, <laughs> only people only go in there when their careers are like on the slope down. Or people, or if well, you tell me, that, you tell me. Well, no, I mean, my thing is, I don't watch Dancing with the Stars. So me I don't, neither. So I don't really, it's me not neither. really. Either. And I was trying to find out what Payla Bell was on there last year. I mean, she did a cute number. She just wanted like she was going to win. And the thing is, like, Wendy Williams is on there. and, and mm -hmm. But Wendy, Wendy is like, has one of the hottest talk shows on TV now. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I think that Tamar. But you like, get paid for being on yeah. there. Like I, did, I think Tamar was a good addition, but you know, Tawanda really was, so maybe she'll be on next season. <laughs> and then they say Kim's on Sia because of Yes, Kim, don't be tardy for the motherfucking party. I did see that, I just couldn't yeah. remember because I didn't look at my notes. But it would be good. It would, I think it was going to be a cute season, but I don't watch this with the start. This with the start is coming on a Monday, it's an and it's going up against Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, and it's also going against my wrestling. I don't think that I will be watching Dancing with the Stars. Now I might watch a cute clip here and there, but you know, hey, I, I was just not. It's like it doesn't interest me at all. It's never been my thing. It's never been you my thing. Never, y'all could go look at clips and ever see we, when we ever had a discussion about Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> no. But y'all wanted me to talk about it because you know Tamar. She's right. gonna be on there. I'm not, well, I'm going to see Tamar going on tour, but you know what? Vince is very smart at what he does, so yeah. I'm not surprised by it because, I mean, her album's supposed to come out September 11th, supposed to come out. Wasn't Tony on there at one point? Like seven years ago. Okay. And Tony, she got eliminated when she shouldn't have got eliminated. Yeah. But I know that, I know that it really, I, I know it really must thing for Tawana to not be on there and Tamar on there. I mean, I, I think, honestly, I think it'll, it'll definitely open Tamar up to a lot of other people mm -hmm. who may not be familiar with her. And about her about album, music. and she's on there every yeah. week. Yeah, I mean, you know, and, and like you said, if she goes far, she's on every week, it'll definitely open her up to more, you know, a different, a whole nother audience. So, mm -hmm. it's a good look for her. I think it's a good look for her, for Kim. I, I'm actually surprised that they're still booking the type of people that they're booking. Like, yeah, they're you know, it's a lot of reality people. It's a lot of reality people on there. On there this time. So. Like who? Other than Kim, other than Tamar, who else is on there? Well, reality that Bendy Urban, she's reality. Right. Let me Google Dancing with the Scars. So we can, uh, with the Scars. <laughs> with the Star. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Scars, this one. Woo! Tell them about it. Tell them about it. So we go skating at the Black A Pride skate party last night, the Open Up Pride. This one thinks he's Christian Yamaguchi. Wants to do this old boxy ass twirl. And all of a sudden, I'm coming toward him. And he's like, <laughs> No, bitch, I spent way too like, no, no, it was, no, it was very, yeah. very amateurish. He's doing this twirl, and then I run right up, and we both fall. I scrape my knee, and we just, we're, we're cracking up. I'm just yes. like, can I? Let me tell you, see what happened? And I had on shorts, so of course my knee was like, Bow. But let me tell you something. Damn, my knee looked fine. But look, Ooh. I got all these scars. These, these scars that I have in my leg, this is from bike skating. This one right here, I cut my leg on something. This is recent, but look how dark it is. But anyway, um... When we were skating, first of all, I don't skate no more. I, I ain't skated in 20 years. Mm -hmm. And they give you those four, the four-wheel skates that's two in the front, two in the back. 
I'm used Regular to the case. inline ruler. I'm used to inline rollerblade. rollerblade. That's what I'm used to. So they give you these skates. My skate, two hours later, I noticed that my skate, my wheel wasn't right. It was already to a curve. But it made my turns perfect when I was turning on them. They weren't that perfect because I ran into you. <laughs> Bitch. Well, see, I'm talking so about everything to walk. So what happened was, you know, you all skating in the circle, skating in the circle, skating in the circle. So this time, I figured, like, all these motherfuckers, they want to twirl and skate backwards. And, and they don't care because they able to maneuver around you. But I'm not able to maneuver around nobody in that fast. I'm just getting used to getting skating on this. And you all skating fast and show me, yeah, bitch, I can skate and you can. Who, me? Yes. Yeah. I was like, Courtney, wait, wait, bitch, wait. He, yes. And I, I had to get used to it. And then, so, after a couple of, after a couple of hours of relearning how to skate, this guy, he's short, and he comes skating. He's not short. He's a tall guy, but he's bent down like this, and he's, he's skating skate. yeah. and doing his thing. And when you know I turn around, just trying to do something fancy, he's coming <laughs> at me because he cut through the little walk, the little path in the middle. So I'm like, oh shit. So after I spin and I see him coming, I was like, I might as well sw keep swerving to the left. But when I'm swerving to the left, the people from the right is coming to my left. So I spin again because I'm trying not to hit nobody. Like, oh my God, I'm going to hit somebody. And bam, this bitch run right into me. And we both fall to the floor and bust out laughing. Because it could have been anybody. Anybody, but it was me. It was That's him. crazy. Yes. Yeah, so that was, that was funny. It was weird. But I, it was too funny. If y'all could have seen the face, the look on his face. Because it was like, it was like you were trying to run from the guy who was skating low like that and you was like trying to spin I'm like oh my and you know how when you're about to, like you're about to fall on somebody and you you just sit in your head yeah. like I'm about to fall I'm about to fall that's how it I makes was. the impact better because yeah. you know it's about to I'm like okay you. how can I break this fall because I know it's about to happen yeah. but let me tell you and he said it earlier too my butt was hurting from the skating. All my legs all this was tight legs my butt only my butt my, my thighs my butt. Everything. Yeah, but I, you know, I, do I have to walk in these stairs till I came up in, in Tayvon's <laughs> house and I'm walking them stairs. I'm like, my butt is like mm. tight from skating. Skating. <laughs> Muscles are like skating. Right. Ooh. I wouldn't do that to you. You. <laughs> I would do you your life. Right. Yeah. Let me tell y'all, he recorded me singing some Luther. Put it on Instagram. I'm like, are oh, you? Not, not with that body, y'all all like that. It's driving me crazy oh, to think that my baby. Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be? That is my song, y'all. My baby. I love that freaking song. Anyway, so yeah, that's dancing with the stars. <laughs> we were skating with the stars. Like right. <laughs> <laughs> so. I can't. So y'all said talk about the Jill Scott interview. I forgot to talk about this, but I was watching Jill Scott on The Breakfast Club. If you don't have her album, Woman, y'all need to get it. If you didn't listen to the interview, y'all need to Google it. I mean, go to YouTube and listen to it because it was great. And Jill Scott dropped so many gems on the interview. And when, when Char Charlamagne asked her, do you think that women know their power? She said, no. I just had to post that on Instagram because I was like, me and Mikel tell you all this all the time. And when we tell our audience this, sometimes we get cursed out because we're gay, so we fuck me now. But you're a woman, you have a pussy, you have power. That's the main thing that a lot of men want. They don't care to know who you are. When they see your body, first thing they want to do is screw you. And you shouldn't give your body and your power away that freaking fast. But a lot of girls do that. But hey, what the hell do I know? I have nieces. I wouldn't want my nieces, no man to be using my niece like mm -hmm. that. So that's why I have to teach women and teach them too. Say no. And they're at that age now where you don't know what they're doing. They could be sneaking. Oh, uh uh, I'm not that type. I ain't playing with them. That's why y'all need to talk to your children about sex at an early age. Early. Age. early. Because nowadays they're going to hear about it. Mm -hmm. Like in middle school. Like and they got fresh ass girlfriends. girlfriends. They're going to hear about it. So you might as well let them know what they need to know about it early on. Before they get corrupted and hear from somebody in school that don't know what they talk about, you know, it's the best to tell them really hard. Mm -hmm. 
Um, this, this this thought behind the camera. Yeah, can we get a little bit more peach in here and, and another ice cube, please? Please, thank you, man. Come on, camera. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you take hey, behind. You show your hospitality. He let you stay here. A writer. He has a book coming out. Yes, he does. He has a book coming out. And I sing the pictures. Hey guys. Yes, I have a book coming out. It's called the Dark. The is still up too, right? You took me sweet. Yeah. Um, it's called Dark Passenger. Come on in here. You can also check out my site, theutopiasuite.com. Follow me on Instagram, only one underscore utopia. Keep going. That's all I have to say. I'm so glad my boo is here. And I'm the classy one. <laughs> he tried to. He lucky I'm pulling his hair off. I'm the classy one. I won't pull his head off. I'm the classy one. But let me tell you, I'm, I'm just really enjoying my stay here in Atlanta. I'm enjoying myself. Um, my girl, Janet Jackson, let me tell you something. Jenny Jackson started her tour on Monday. Yes, you better take my drink to the hero. I've seen you. <laughs> it's a whole bottle. You can make your own cup. You look for Yes, sir. Um, Jenny Jackson started her tour on Monday. The Unbreakable Tour. The Unbreakable Tour. I thought you were throwing shade at my girl. I'm like, ah, no, you didn't. So, let me tell you something. Courtney is not too fond of my girl, Jenny. No, it's not. Listen, bad. I know that he not like. Bad. Listen. Do not say I'm not a Okay, I'm, I'm not going to okay. do it. I'm not going to. He is not really into a lot of the stuff. That's fine. I'm yeah. okay with that. I'm okay with that. I can accept that. But it meant a lot to me today. First of all, let me talk about the tour. I ain't got shit to talk about the tour because I didn't watch no videos. Yeah, I heard some news that Missy Elliott did a song with Janet, but I didn't listen to the song because I want to be surprised. Can I hear the album first? And maybe I can look at a couple of YouTube clips, but not right now. I feel it's too fresh. I want to be surprised. I might go to a date that's coming up. You know, I, mean? oh, I might come to the Chastain Park and I'm say you said you were surprised about what? About me something? I was surprised because today, Janet put her album up for pre-order. And when you pre-order the album, a new song, Unbreakable, comes comes with your pre-order. And Courtney had a chance to listen to it. I said, Courtney, please let me listen to this um, Janet Jackson new song. Because I listened to it about 10 times. And I like it. No, actually, I love it. And I wanted to make sure that I'm not crazy because when it first starts off, you know, Janet is singing, right? And I said, yeah, bitch, Janet is singing and you can hear what she's saying. That was my like, yeah, bitch, turn that shit off and I'm gonna let you listen. And he listened to it. And as we pulled up, it, it was perfect timing because we got here. And the song went off and he really liked the song. It's, it's really nice. I was like, okay. And don't get me wrong, like, I, it's, it's not that I'm not a Janet fan, I'm just a, she was kind of before my generation, I'm, I'm 26 years old, so, I don't know, like, I, like, it, it was, I wasn't really into a lot of female pop artists until I got older, and I, I used to love, love, love a lot of Beyonce, but I, I don't know, I just don't really have time for it now, so. <laughs> And you're in his seat, and you talking like that? I'm just, I have, I see my mind, it is what it is. Like, Amen. I don't know, I think once you once you get to a certain age, like, cause I used to, I used to love Beyonce. But I don't know, I just kind of grew out of it. I was like, all right, well, let me focus on my career. <laughs> you know, and, and do me, so. But I love her to death, I still love her to death, but I don't know, like, I, I've, my music interests have really changed a lot. You know, I like a lot of indie, army and a lot of indie funk so yeah, I listen to like everybody I'm just not into that y'all know that heavy metal rock music so I'm not into that but I can listen to a lot of stuff now for artists that I like venture into like a rock song okay but rock has never been rock have you ever have you ever listened you remember that big uproar about when Beyonce didn't win the album of the year last year I think it was this past year and back one yes I actually listen to this album it's actually it's actually is it better than it's, Beyonce I, 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 I mean Artist subjective. You know, as an artist myself, I can't say, oh, this person's artist better than that person. Artist subjective. If you like Beyonce, you like Beyonce. If you like somebody else, you like somebody else. But I think that sounds like, like I just, just like what I said on Monday yeah. at, about the um, MTV boys about Kanye West. Yeah. You, I mean, as an art, as an artist, you should not judge and get same wrong. You can't, and so I can't say that she's better or she's not better. I just have because I was just curious to see, okay, what is the, all the fuss? But I actually listened to his album. It was actually really good. Like he plays his own and instruments. He, keep on. He 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 writes his own music. And produces. He, he produces and he does. He like the whole package. He's it's a, not a, you know, It's not a whole team, bitch. It's him. Yeah. 
And not to take away from anything that she does, I just think art is subjective. And you can like both of them, you know? And the Grammys, it's like, okay, that's a group of people who decide something. Like, that's not, like, why should that be the standard? Like, music is music, art is art. If we just take away the awards and just art, let art be art, you know? And to Kevin Gates kicking that girl, that's yes. wrong. You don't kick nobody. So why somebody grabbed you? You should have enough in your mental state to, to say, yeah. All right. I mean, he and he kicked her. Mm -hmm. Like, he kicked her. And the thing was, she just grabbed his pants really quick. I had me say, I saw the TMZ at work the other day. I'm like, glad you seen and, that. Yeah, and like, literally, like he, like, he kicked her hard. I'm just like, if you're going to be a celebrity, you have to understand that sometimes people are going to get in your personal space. As a celebrity, people are going to get in your personal life, period. Mm -hmm. So you just have to understand, like, okay, sometimes I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be violated. Sometimes things are going to happen. You know, that's just the nature of the business. So if you can't understand that, then it's just like, but it was no need for you to kick that. You ain't never see Beyonce hit nobody. Yeah, like, that's and, and that's the case, you hire some more bodyguards on your stage. Like, did he have anybody on the stage with him? Was any bodyguards there? Or I've seen somebody come out after he kicked them. Well, put them all, put them on high alert. You know, if if you feel that your your person's place is gonna be violated, put them on high alert. But you don't can't touch kicking nobody like that. And like, Miss Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Now I watched this clip of her. Can you put this on? Thanks. I can't. Cause I'm done with the news. I seen her say she was talking to this black guy. Mm -hmm. You know, Fox News, they know who they want to put in there. <laughs> and she's like, why isn't Black Lives Matter classified as a hate group? Just because they interrupt speeches does not mean that they should be classified as a hate group. Black Lives Matter does not hate people. They hate the way black people are treated. And they want to remind people that black lives matter. Now, do I agree with them? taking over Bernie Sanders' stage and, you know, trying to interrupt Hillary Clinton and everything? No. Because I feel there's a way to let your voice be heard. There's a right way and a wrong way. And they feel that the wrong way is the best way to get their voices heard by people. But sometimes you can be looking like you're a bad group of people. But let me tell you something. I never heard of this hate group if it's the Black Lives Matter hate group. I never heard of them hating people because of their race. I never heard of them beating up people because of their race. I never heard about them shooting and hanging people because of their race. If anything, you should be asking, why does the Ku Klux Klan still exist? Why are you worried about, why is that Black Lives Matter classified as a hate group? They don't hate nobody. They, they hate, hate the way black people are treated. And you should hate that too, Elizabeth. So th this is honestly what happens when you take a journalist whose training comes from being on Survivor <laughs> and being on The View and mm. then you call her a journalist mm. this is what happens mm -hmm. and the thing is like you can't you can't take an isolated incident and say oh why are we not classifying this group as a hate group because of one incident because of because of a couple people who, who did something that was not in truth to what the group really stands for the group stands for literally Black Lives Matter I see people put all lives matter all the time, and I'm just like, I understand it, but at the same time, we know all lives matter. We're focused on the black ones right now. Mm -hmm. And that's like saying, for I, somebody said something on Facebook one time, they, they said, that's like saying, you know, if, you, if you're at like a breast cancer march, and somebody says, oh, well, throat cancer is important too. <laughs> ah, well, what about pancreas cancer? What about uh, prostate cancer? That's like that's like going to a, a benefit that's focused on one specific thing and saying something else. It's like we have the right to be pro-black. We have the right to love our race and to say black lives matter because they do. They matter. And we have the right to focus on that. And so I, I just think it's really dumb on her part to even make a statement like that based off of one isolated incident. We understand that there are always going to be a rotten apple in the bunch. And I say not to say those people are rotten, but what their actions do portray may not have been the best at that time. But you have to understand when you have a group of people who have been for years and years and years been uh, treated a certain way, sometimes they're going to act out. And sometimes they're going to do things that are not favorable, but you have to understand what the struggle is for that person. And so I just think it's, I, I just thought it was very stupid for her to say that to class because it's not a hate group. It's a group that, that wants to spread equality for black lives. And so I, I mean, it's Elizabeth Hasbeck. Like, I wasn't surprised. Like, look who, look who the hell we talking about.
<laughs> like I can see if it was if it was somebody who was uh, who studied journalism or somebody who's who's uh, who has a, career, a a history and a career and being well, maybe she do have a career. I mean, a career, a Child. degree in journalism. But if y'all if if y'all see a link or something that says she has a degree, put it in the comments. They might, look, they might give it to you on Wikipedia. Child, Elizabeth Haswell ain't got no degree in journalism. Mm. She studied. She was on Survivor and she was on The View. She was on Survivor, which got her on The View. Correct me if I'm wrong. She was on Survivor and then got her onto The View because she was that. young. Because she yeah. was a young girl. Yeah, because she was a Republican, you know. And now all of a sudden, The View wants to have a Republican. That's a whole other story. But they do. Yeah, we're not going to. Go <laughs> the View is, is. We're not going to get into that. But let me tell you, I'm feeling myself right now. Let me tell you something again. You don't let one person stop you from enjoying your motherfucking self. Because <laughs> let me tell you something, bitch. I represent the Scorpion Show. Okay? Yes, it's two people. But today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, time to take my ass back to Philly. I'll be representing the Scorpion Show. And I'm going to enjoy my motherfucking self. And I'll be disappointed if you say to me or put on my shit that you didn't come because one person stopped the show to you. So y'all need to come on out and enjoy yourselves because Saturday, I'm ready to have a good motherfucking time, not only with y'all, but with my YouTube family because I love them too. So I can't wait. I really can't wait. And Courtney is going to be with me all freaking weekend. I think the majority of the weekend. Oh, uh, well, I know you gotta work tomorrow. I don't know what you know. You know what? Well, maybe Saturday and Sunday, and definitely Monday because I'm leaving on Tuesday morning. Monday's chill day. <laughs> now that your family's having a barbecue, I think I'm they like, are. But yeah, well, I'm Monday, well, Labor Day, me and man, we will be down the street. Oh, bitch, but well, fuck. You know what? It's like. He got some plans. No, I don't yeah. have Cause he was all texting me like, yes, bitch, I can't wait for you to come. Like, and I'm happy you're here. Like, we gonna have a ball. We gonna be the I'm happy ball. you're here, but I'm just, at the same time, it's like, oh, okay. Oh, and you oh, only live no, with me. No, 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 it's not. Nine that. months. Every nine months. You know, every four months. You just live <laughs> the first time. This is the first time you went nine months without coming because you used to be out before. I'm coming out of it. You know what I mean? But no, this is the thing. Like, I just have some, I have some other stuff I got to say this week, but I will be with the majority of the week. Would you come into the Black House? Yes, I have a meeting that morning, but I will be at the Black House. Oh, well, the Black House don't start at three. I know, I'll be there. Mm -hmm. And then that night, I have to go somewhere. I have an event. At well, then I have another event. Well, you won't be at the Black House. <laughs> so, the Black House at three, I'll be there at the Black House, but I. But you won't be there that three. evening. No, no, that like, black people don't come on time. But y'all asses better be there at three because I'm gonna be there at two thirty, allegedly. But yes, <laughs> I might be grieving. I don't know. But yeah, we have to go. We're going out. But thank y'all for watching this video. Follow me for updates on films, stuff like that. Filmmaker CW Twitter. Yes, straight Instagram. out. Film makers. F I L M M A K E E-R. Child, that almost sounded like Miguel. Uh, <laughs> it's right there. F-I-L-M-A-K-E-R. That's if I put it there. Woo! Filmmaker C-W. And then make sure y'all follow Instagram at Filmmaker C-W. 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 Instagram at Filmmaker C-W.